Fans, at this time, please direct your attention to the video board as we begin our special halftime presentation to honor the legacy of former University of Utah Athletics Director, Dr. Chris Hill. I played basketball at Rutgers, I coached, I taught, and I got the chance to spend my life in sports. You can't make this stuff up, you just can't. I saw the AD position as a family job, both crying in the tough times and celebrating in the good times. I think we got a culture. It's a culture that we care about each other, and we're not afraid of uh, lofty goals. We're not afraid. And you better believe it, Utah is in the national championship game. The Utah Utes are going to win a school record 13th game of the season. It really is a lot of fun. It really is a lot of fun. It's a great day to be you, and thank you. Tonight, Utah Athletics has the incredible honor to recognize Dr. Chris Hill for his exemplary 31 years of service to the University of Utah. Dr. Hill retired in June 2018 after an extraordinary career leading the Utes Athletics Department to high achievement in competition and in the classroom. Hill was the longest actively tenured athletics director at the same school in the NCAA FBS when he retired. He began his tenure at the helm of the Utes at just 37 years of age in 1987 and compiled an impressive legacy of accomplishments, perhaps none larger than positioning Utah for the invitation to join the ranks of the Power Five in 2011 as a member of the Pac-12 Conference. We are also pleased to announce that Dr. Hill will be inducted into the NACDA Hall of Fame in June. Here tonight to present Dr. Chris Hill with a framed number 31 jersey is Utah Athletics Director Mark Harlan. Now, to cement Dr. Chris Hill's legacy, we ask you please hold up your thank you signs and direct your attention to the East Banner Ring, where we will count down the unveiling of Dr. Chris Hill's banner. Fans, we're gonna watch your help with this. We're gonna start at five. Here we go, five. I guess it's on. I've, you know, I've been gone for two years, so I'm not sure how to speak. But anyway, uh, I want to thank Mark and the athletic department and this great university for giving me an honor uh, that's more than you can imagine. Um, it's game day, and uh, it's good stuff. Uh, I haven't been nervous in two years on game day, except today. Um, I was trying to figure out nervousness is, is just the way it is when you have a game like this and you have a chance to speak to folks that are so valuable to me personally and the university. I was worried about, would I speak too fast? Would my Jersey accent come back? Would I say gonna rather than going to? 
You know, there are so many things that you get nervous about and that all the athletes in sports know that they mean a lot to me. Just because we're in the basketball arena doesn't mean they're, they're not that important. They very much are. Uh, so if, if I don't do a good job, okay, uh, would you please pretend that I did, okay? Because um, I have feelings too, you know, I'm a person. Uh, from just a personal standpoint that I hope this doesn't sound egotistical but, and maybe a little corny, but uh, my grandpa who passed away before I was born was the head coach at Rutgers for 32 years, not 31. And uh, as I would go into that, and he's still in the top number two in the state in wins of a college coach in basketball. But as I would go into the Rutgers uh, gymnasium, I can't call it an arena, on the right-hand side was a gigantic sign of my grandpa. And I would go to my teammates and say, that's my grandpa, it's pretty cool. So now, um, hopefully, if they're nice to me, maybe someday my grandkids will come, I got five of them, will come here someday and say, that's my grand, that's my poppy, that's pretty cool. So, um, so, you know, I hope that happens for me. Now my family's kind of wondering why they're standing here by themselves. Uh, so I'll go over, but we've had great teams and we always bring them out on the floor and introduce them. So one of the things I want to share with you about the team is this is, this is the A team. This is the best team. Uh, I have my son Christopher here. Let's hear it for him, please. I have my son Christopher who just came in from California a couple hours ago. He's got a beautiful family in California, his wife Darcy, Emiko, who's two years and three months, and uh, Ayumi, who's four years and six months. Now, the reason why I put the months in, as a grandparent, the rules are, if somebody is over fi under five years old, you gotta use the months. My wife, Kathy, Addie Rose, my granddaughter, my daughter, Allie, her husband, Matt, Oh, Lily, Lily and Jack, uh, so special for them. Uh, I want to thank my staff for everything they've done. Uh, our staff, not my staff. Our staff for all they've done. It's just been a tremendous experience. I figured out the other day I got about 4,000 student athletes that I got to know, so I want to thank them too. Uh, People talk about dreams can come true. Uh, this one wasn't a dream. Uh, you would have thought I was crazy when I was 25 years old to think that I could be doing this. Some people in this building now that I met my very first year out here and they kind of know how crazy it would be. But some dreams do come true. Uh, we believe that we could be great. We believe that we could change the culture of the university athletic program. We believe that we could compete at the very, very highest level. And we're there now. But <laughs> thanks to all you folks, that can happen. Uh, it's, a, it's a special thing to, to be around folks like that. Uh, I got to go back to my family one more time. They hold an NCAA record for the first ball, most ball tosses and jerseys ever caught in the history of the University of Utah. All right, they're number one. They've been able to do that mainly because they had good suits, seats, and they got my dynamic speed and quickness and great hands. So anyway, I, I, I want to thank you. Team's coming out soon, so we're knocking down. Uh, you know, I hope you all know how I feel. I hope you really know that. Uh, uh, all the fans, and the great must, and my fellow coworkers, my coaches. And, you know, you get an opportunity to take advantage of something, and I gave it my best shot every day. And uh, I tried to be a good leader and have great values and make sure that uh, I let my staff and coaches do their job and support them and be a stand-up guy if things didn't go well. Because when things didn't go well, I'm in charge and not everyone run away. So now, uh, I get 
to, to go back to the best seat in the house. Uh, I, think, I think I've earned some of that, maybe not that best one. But I, I get to be less nervous, and I get to be like the rest of you. I get to root for the Utes. Go Utes! Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up one more time for our very own Dr. Chris Hill.